All right, today we're going to talk about YCBCR and YPBPR. So YCBCR is a color space. It is a luminance chrominance color space. It's one channel of luminance and then two, two coordinates of chrominance. So this is the black and white and this is the color, um, brightness and color. So what's the difference between these two? Well, this is the actual numbers. So the actual color space, the actual numbers. And then when you want to use those in a, something like a television, you need to output voltages. So you take these and you equate them some, something, maybe Y goes between zero and one volt and C goes between zero and one volt. You, you, you figure out some voltages here. And when you turn them into voltages, then it's YPVPR. Same thing, only these are in voltages and these are in numbers, okay? And we're gonna talk about this one first. So uh, if you haven't watched my other video on RGB, uh, VGA RGB, go watch that one, it'll help. Um, so in RGB land, uh, if you wanna make white, you would set uh, R equal to G equal to B. That would give you some sort of gray. And if these were all maximum values, it would give you white, okay? But What's hidden inside the television is that these aren't treated the same. They have different gains in them, okay? So in, a, in an old color television, uh, you had a, a green phosphor, a blue phosphor, and a red phosphor, and they are in some kind of color space, and uh, you would add them together to get to white. Okay, white, white was in the middle. But uh, the phosphors are all different brightnesses. And um, in order to get uh, the correct value of white, you needed to add in certain percentages of red, green, and blue. It's not just one, one, one. They were actually certain amount of watts. You don't put in one watt, one watt, one watt. You had to put in some other values. And in fact, you put in 30% uh, red, uh, almost 60% green, and 11% blue and that would give you a white if you were using regular NTSC phosphors, okay? Uh, or um, what are known as uh, uh, BT-601 or REC-601, ITU-601. Um, this is the specification for this type of um, color system in televisions. Uh, more modern televisions um, might have REC 709. Uh, there's another specification, 709, which HD TVs use, but standard deaf TVs used uh, 601. Anyway, the thing, to, the thing to think of here is that this ratio of red, green, and blue needed to be factored into the, uh, into the television. And um, we are going to call this our Y channel. We're gonna take whatever we used to use, red, green, and blue, and we're gonna multiply them by these factors and that will give us a Y value. So if we output a Y value of say 100, that will give us a maximum. And we output a Y value of zero, that will give us black. A Y value of one, you know, 50 will be a middle gray. And so Y is going to be our gray scale, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to create two other numbers. We, we would take the, um, uh, the Y value um, and subtract it from red. So we take our red value and subtract Y. That's going to give us something called we call CR. And if we take the, uh, the blue value and subtract Y, we're going to get something that's the C, CB value. So these are color differences. We already have white, and, and uh, so we don't need to burden the color things with that. We already know the white values, and so we're gonna do this subtractive thing and get these two color differences. And those are CR and CB. And uh, those are what's sent. It, it, you send brightness and then two color coordinates, which are these two things here. And the television figures it all out, all right? And so um, let's go ahead and look at some waveforms and see if this makes any sense or not. All right, here's our uh, stair step waveform. And you can see that the uh, cyan trace is the Y channel. Um, and the CBCR are the uh, cyan and uh, 
I mean, the yellow, the yellow and the magenta there, and they're both the same value, and there's the same value everywhere, because this is not a black and white picture. This is a gray picture. So you're going to set the color coordinates to gray, and they're going to be constant across the whole picture. All right? And so if we change to another one, let's change to a checkerboard. So here's a, here's a checkerboard. I'll do some single sweeps. You can see that sometimes it's high and sometimes it's low on a line, and uh, sometimes it's the opposite way around. But again, the color information is always is always boring. It's always just gray, and only the uh, only the Y information is being sent. Now, in this particular type of system, there is no horizontal sync as an extra line. It's incorporated into the uh, into the um, Y channel. And uh, let me turn off these. Oops, let me turn off these other ones. So here's just the Y channel. Uh, let me put it on staircase here. Um, so the Y channel has a negative going pulse, that's the horizontal sync, and then it has the uh, Y information. So it's doing double duty, uh, and, and you don't have a separate signal. So, um, and the vertical sync is also going to be incorporated into the Y channel. Um, it'll be a longer, a longer pulse. Um, the longer pulse says, hey, I'm doing a vertical sync, and the... Uh, Let's go take a look at that. Let's go out. Let's go way, way out. These are, there we go. So you can see, let's see if I can catch one. There we go. So this is a vertical sync where we have a very long period and that's one vertical sync. And then if we zoom in, you can see that these are the individual lines and these are all horizontal syncs. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our, uh, Put our color information back in. All right, so let's look at a color image. So here are color bars. Now you can see that the uh, the Y uh, is intensity, and interestingly, the color bars uh, are bright on the left-hand edge and get dimmer as you go to the right-hand edge. Um, and then the different values of the uh, CB and the CR tell you what what color to put there. You can see that that very first one, the very brightest one, is white, and those two values are very similar, as we saw before. You just have a, uh, a white uh, uh, band that starts it with. And then you have other colors, and then the very last one is a gray band, um, which is a, a, dark, a dark one on the, uh, on the far edge. So um, let me get rid of the luminance channel. So here's the color information. Um, between those two signals, uh, this is the two color differences, it will tell the television what, what color to display. All right, let's look at a ramp. There's no color information. And here's a, here's a very complicated color, um, color bar. It's called the SMPTE, SMPTE color bar has a lot of information in it, so you can see there's a lot of different colors going on and uh, things are changing from line to line. Um, but anyway, um, that is uh, YCBCR or YPBPR, and uh, that's how it's broadcast. It's three signals, luminance to chrominance, and the luminance channel also has the vertical and horizontal sinks embedded in them.